Maya, Flamira, Shaila, and Fatimara, Lifrila, Lafaela, Zambiara, Shamila Vodas, Shamila, Messavimira, Vramiras, Efraira, Messalira, Livraya, Messagira, Aliara, Aliara, Zeprarira, Mashila. And as he prayed, somebody say, as he prayed, let's read together. I want to go. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his remnant was white and glistering. As he prayed, not when he was preaching. Not when, not, not when he was laying hands on people. Not when he was walking and reading the Bible. Uh -uh. Not when he was re reading a book. No. His countenance changed. Uh, his looks transformed. Because of prayer. You want to change in your life? Pray. You want the glory of God? Pray! You, 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 you want to get from me what prayer can give you. You're fully, we, we, pastors and prophets and apostles have fooled you. Has they helped us? No. We are all pretending here. In this church, the truth will be taught. How dare you expect to get a transformation through your pastor. You're, you, 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 you're fooling yourself. The Bible says the countenance of Christ was altered when he prayed. There is no change that you ever desire in your lifetime that cannot come through prayer. Have you ever asked yourself, how can we manifest Romans chapter 12 verse 2? Be ye transformed. How? You think that the renewing of, of the mind is just reading the letter. Hey, it is when the letter has been read and practiced. We read to know so that we can affect the knowledge. That you read the Bible or read the book or can quote it does not change any man. Don't you know that the truth that you know is the truth that the truth we use to change you? You shall know the truth and the truth shall make, it, make you not not that the truth you know made you free not the truth that you have known shall make you free says the lord Efraira, Messalira, Livraya, Messagira, Aliara, Aliara, Zeprarira, Mashila, Meligologes. I love you, Jesus. You're so precious, Lord. We will serve you, Lord. My generation shall serve the Lord. My generation shall serve the Lord.